In the previous videos, we have already discussed two important parameters in a vibrating system. It is mass and stiffness. And now we want to see the third parameter called damping. Damping is a mechanism of absorbing the vibration energy. Some of the vibration energy is usually converted into heat energy or it is changed into sound energy. We can see one of examples of damper elements in the car, which is the dashboards or the shock absorbers. It consists of a piston fit into a cylinder where the fluid or the oil inside the cylinder resists the motions of the piston and thus absorbing the motion's energy. This type of damping, we call it viscous damping. When we have an object moves on a rough surface, we will have the friction force against the motions of the object, which can absorb some of the kinetic energy. And this type of damping is called column damping. Damping also exists in the form structure when it is subjected to vibrations. The vibration energy in that structure is dissipated by the frictions between the internal planes in the material. This type of damping we call it hysteretic damping. In the vibration analysis, the damping model commonly used is the physicus damping model. When a force is applied to the physicus damper, the piston displaces C with displacement x, and the force equals to C multiplied by dx over dt, which is the velocity of the piston, where C is called the damping constant. And the unit for the damping constant is Newton second over meter or kilogram per second. The work done by the damper to dissipate the energy is defined as minus integral of CEQ x dot dx dot where CEQ we call it equivalent translational damping constant of the vibrating system. For the case of rotational motion, the work done is minus integral CEQ theta dot d theta dot where the CEQ here we call it equivalent rotational damping constant of the vibrating system. So how to determine the equivalent damping constants of a vibrating system? This is what we will discuss in the next video. So that's it for now. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and also visit my website for more contents and to interact with my animations. Thanks for watching. Bye.